So in today's video, we're going to review three Shopify dropshipping stores, two of which look amazing and one store that needs improvements. This is going to help you create your own store without missing any of the most important parts. You can use this video as a reference or a checklist when you create your own store and make sure to have a perfect store design before moving to the advertising. Hello and welcome back to Real Talks, the overall channel where we cover everything on how to optimize your side hustle. We'll go over some of our top marketing tips and more. I'm Farah. I have been with Shopify for two years, so I've helped many, many stores from business growth to the technical stuff. I also went to business school and I'm an artist entrepreneur running my own brand on multiple social platforms. So as mentioned today, we're going to review three different Shopify stores that we found completely randomly. Therefore, we don't know specific stats of the stores, meaning we don't know specific sales numbers or how much the store is generating. Nonetheless, as customer success advisors and mentors, we know exactly what makes a Shopify dropshipping store successful and what parts must be completed 100% before running any ads. We see hundreds of stores every week and we help numerous merchants with their stores and increase their sales just by checking and implementing certain parts of their stores. So today we'll be going through specific criteria that are crucial for dropshipping success. Moreover, if you want to get help from us in regards to marketing, product selection, store design, advertising, etc., make sure to go to your Oberlo app and in the bottom right, click on the support button. Now, this is where you have to make sure to use the hashtag real talk in your message and just write your question where you need help from us. Just make sure to use the tag real talk so your message itself won't get lost in our inbox and we will put it into our dedicated box so our team will be able to help you with your business growth related questions. So without further ado, let's jump into the first store and the criteria that you have to follow to make sure your store is a profitable store. Okay, so the very first store that I wanted to include in our list is a great looking Shopify dropshipping store that is generating a ton of emojis on Facebook and Instagram ads. And it looks like they know what they are doing really, really well. From the get go, we can see that this is a one product store and they must probably have tested different products in a general store and moved on to a one product store once they found a winner. Therefore, the store itself is using a Shopify paid Shopify theme, actually, but you don't really need to go straight away and purchase a $180 theme. I strongly believe that this store has started with a free theme and then transitioned to a paid one. But now let's break it down with our criteria and what they're doing amazing at. Let's take a look. Navigation, the top and the footer. So first we'll look at the navigation for this website from what I can see. The top navigation is almost perfect as they included all the necessary links there. Though page one is missing, which is the track your order page. And it looks like they don't have this page in the footer as well. So this is a part where they could improve. Um, just by seeing this page exist, customers will give it additional trust points for your store for sure. It's an important one as all the most popular e-commerce stores have it, okay? And the next thing that we want to check is the single most important part of your Shopify store, your product description. This is where you will either convert the person to buy your product or not. And this brand did an excellent job of writing it. They have created an entire page dedicated to this product. And as you scroll down, you will see different parts explaining the product, its features, what it consists of, as well as why you will need to buy this product. They didn't just go ahead and threw a bunch of stuff of why you need a cat ball. They really dug deep into this as they can, as they even explain that this bowl prevents acid reflex for our cats. This is simply amazing. And as a cat owner, you will instantly get into this product as a store owner in 2021. The worst thing you can do is just go ahead and be really blank on your descriptions and use the same techniques as in 2019 or so. Just go ahead and do your research on the product. And this can be as fast as checking Amazon or eBay for reviews and what people are talking about on the product that you are selling. Okay. 
the product title. This one is easy, but make sure that you make it super short, but don't forget that this is the part where you can sell them the product. Now, this product not only explains that this is a cat bowl, but it also explains the benefits of having it, like orthopedic and anti-vomiting. Great job on the title. This is where uniqueness comes into play, short and sweet. Another part that we will cover in today's episodes are reviews. I love these and these are super crucial. Make sure to have reviews in your store. This store has them and they're perfect. If your product is visual, you should ask your customers to upload a photo of themselves using the product. Or if you don't have customers yet, try to find product reviews on AliExpress and import those that have photos. You can do it easily and for free with a ton of different apps on the Shopify app store. We will include some in the description of this video. Um, reviews are simple to have, but make sure your reviews look good. They are not weirdly translated or photos of those reviews are not high quality. Very, very important. Okay, so the next part here is the product images and videos. From what we can see, the product has amazing images and some high quality videos showing the bowl and the cat using it. Super cute. Really simple yet effective. Okay. So let's look at the product price. Pretty self-explanatory, but make sure you're using the same price within the store. Meaning if one of your products has a scent formatting like $19.95, make sure other products have the same formatting, $29.95, $34.95, et cetera. Since they only have one product, they are still using a recommended scent formatting, which is the 99 cents, okay? Shipping costs, if you have any. They could have made it a bit clearer on what are the shipping costs if they do have any, though by clicking on the add to cart button, we can see that they offer free worldwide shipping for all purchases. Okay, so we look next year at the store logo. Very nice. They probably made it in like three minutes or so with Canva, though don't make it too complicated. If you have a logo with a ton of colors, styles, or even images, expect your conversion rate to drop off. One additional thing that I wanted to mention is take a look at how do they promote their sales to increase the quantity of the product. They say have more than one kitty, which indicates that some cat owners may have more cats just or just not risk breaking it and just have a couple of these bowls prepared. Always be prepared. <laughs> there may be other things that I didn't mention, like a home page, uh, but the most important part is your product page and how you set it up. Okay, so make sure it's perfect and just follow our guidelines. And now we're going to move to the store that needs a little bit of help. Sportees.com. Let's take a look here. So this one needs some improvements and those improvements can make a huge difference in sales. Okay, the navigation itself looks great. They included all the necessary links and information there, uh, which makes the store more complete and trustworthy. Though in the footer, they have technical issues showing duplicate pages for all the privacy and terms of service pages. That would need to be fixed. Um, I took a look at the Sterling Tennis Chain product as an example. And while the product itself is just a jewelry product, they could have made it a bit better by including a copy that asks the visitor, are you a tennis fan? Do you like playing for, do you like playing or watching tennis? And things like these. So such questions will improve your conversion rates as you are asking specific questions that target your audience. If you like to sell this product to all people, you may as well include some quotes or saying about tennis and jewelry so it makes your store more unique. Remember the first store that we covered actually today is a cat ball. Just a cat ball that they made it look unique and interesting since they did their product and market research, drilled down on what questions people tend to ask and came up with an amazing product description. Their store could do the same. Okay, so the next part is pretty simple, which is the product title. I would have added additional words targeting their audience. For example, perfect for tennis lovers, or even have keywords like unique or a perfect gift for a tennis fan. Again, just do your research, okay? 
um, next part this particular product has is the six reviews out of which only has one of them. Actually, one of them only has one photo. <laughs> Make sure to include more reviews that have photos and keywords related to tennis lovers. Okay, next part is the product images and videos. From what we can see, the product has some pretty good images, though if you want to make it more amazing, include some photos with men wearing it or design some collages with this chain and make it more unique and interesting. And you will see a sudden increase in ad spend for sure. Okay, so the next part is the product price. I've taken a look into more products in the store and since it's a branded niche store, they're Prices are quite different. You want to make sure to keep it consistent with scents formatting for sure. And then we look at the shipping cost. Um, they do have a shipping info link in the product description, but this link could be more visible for visitors. Good thing is that they have this in their top navigation bar, which makes it perfect. Um, and the next one is the store logo, a pretty good logo. So I could say they have done a pretty good job of creating a high quality logo for their store. Finally, let's move to the third product, which did an amazing job. Okay. So we're going to go into the last and final store here, twinklingtree.co. They're doing really well just by looking at the insane amount of views they're getting on their Facebook ad. So again, we're going to go through the criteria here. We look at the navigation, the top and the footer, as you can see, marvelous job. Everything is included. Nothing has been missed. And as a potential customer, I really feel comfortable in case I'm interested in the product they are offering. Okay. The product description here, the product I'm checking is this amazing looking lamp. And they made a really good job of writing down a description that really directs, um, to their target audience with their main sentence of enchant your space, a beautiful and unique gift and a magical glow. Additional, they have mentioned a 30 day money back guarantee, which is quite important since the product could come broken or anything like that. So they're making it crystal clear that they can indeed get your money back. That's awesome. Okay. So next part here is the product title. From what I can see, this product has a very simple title that simply tells what the product is, and that's perfect. But it could even be better if they included some whom this product might be perfect for. For example, wishing light, perfect gift, or anything like that, okay? So we'll move on here to the reviews. Absolutely amazing. Almost every review comes with a product photo showing the product and customers taking a few moments, sharing their experience with the product and the store itself. Love that. Okay, the product images and videos. Not much to say here. Perfect job. And we move on here to the product prices. They have the same sense formatting throughout all of their product. Really, really great. Shipping cost. The store owners wrote a simple FAQ section where they explain their shipping and that they indeed offer free shipping for the product and they have a timer when the free shipping ends. Okay, store logo perfectly lines up with the whole store theme. That's amazing. And that was the last store. Wow, we really breezed through that, didn't we? But I hope you found all those helpful. Um, I want to share a hot tip with you. Um, I came across this new podcast that gives marketing tips. You can follow along while you're in the car or getting ready. I personally love listening to podcasts whenever I have the free time, you know, and I want to have something in the background for me to listen to. It makes me feel more... Um, <laughs> smarter, I guess you could say. So this one was called Business Made Simple with Donald Miller, um, businessmadesimple.com. And they talk about how, um, you know, you should always begin your customer story by identifying what they want and then define their problem to spark that interest in how you can help them overcome that problem. So just like we were talking about, uh, in the stores, in the product description, like explaining how that's going to benefit them. And that's going to pull them in and be like, I want to buy this product because it's going to help me with whatever it is that benefit is. So 
when I listened to this podcast, it really was relevant with what we're talking about today. And they talk about building a, a great three-step plan, um, use specific language in your marketing to activate your customer to make commitment to buy, and clearly showing your customers how buying your product will make their life better. Making your life better. That's it right there. Okay. So check that out. Uh, I do also have a toolbox tip here for you. I wanted to throw this one in again for some of you who may have missed it before. Hatchful.shopify.com. It's a free logo maker available on Shopify. You can create beautiful professional logos in seconds. I had fun creating mine, so definitely check that out if you haven't, okay? All right, so that was it. Leave a comment in the chat or in the video description. What did you like? What can we do better? Also make sure to let us know whether you have any ideas on what you would like to learn from us. Furthermore, please make sure to contact us via Oberlo app with the hashtag of Real Talk and your questions where you need help and our team will be able to help you as soon as possible. See you next week. Bye.